Regis Philbin has been hosting television shows since the 1960s. In fact, he's had so much airtime, he holds the Guinness World Record for the most time spent in front of a TV camera. So what do you get a huge star for his birthday? How about a huge present? TV legend Regis Philbin is part of a new national sports show called Crowd Goes Wild. And recently his co-host surprised him with a birthday gift he just couldn't say nay to. We crisscrossed the country in search of the perfect gift. When we got to Delaware and came across the Teague Stables, it clicked. What's more fitting for America's treasure than one of the world's most majestic animals? There were many to choose from, but there was one who stood out. He wasn't like the others. Like you, Regis, this one had personality. He had spunk, and he was very comfortable in front of the camera. Regis Philbin, for your birthday this week, your loving crew would like to give you your four-legged namesake. The one, the only, Regis the Horse. So how has this pacing prize been performing on the track? Out of five starts at Harrington Raceway for Delaware trainer George Teague Jr., Regis the Horse has had three wins and a second. And every time he races, his race appears live on the show Crowd Goes Wild and the crew cheers him on. Regis the Horse has been such a hit that the producers of Crowd Goes Wild couldn't wait to get the equine's driver, Montrell Teague, up to the studio. And you better believe I jumped at the chance to tag along. We're heading up to New York City to promote Regis the Horse on the show Crowd Goes Wild on Fox Sports 1. And you may be able to see in the background, we even have a race bike attached to a vehicle. The problem is that, um, well, the star of the segment up on Crowd Goes Wild is nowhere to be found. So I'm probably, you know, probably should go look for him now. Come on. I'm trying to find Montreal. Hmm. Hi. As your personal assistant for the day, like chop chop, I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> We have officially left Harrington, and we're already in Felton. <laughs> and it's like 11.30. Um, Montrell is driving, but doesn't know really how to drive around the city, and the GPS is old and doesn't work. So <laughs> yay for us. Oh, we got the phone. But ladies, you know how to get around New York, right? We've been there a couple I think, times. Yeah. I think we're professional. We're professionals. I can, oh. I can call a taxi real quick, so yeah. we'll figure it out. I'm a pro at that. <laughs> It's a little bit after two and we are now entering the Holland Tunnel and we'll be in New York City. We have made it to Pier 60. So the next thing on the agenda is having to get the race bike off of the vehicle. And um, this is what they requested to bring the race bike. We are now in the green room, and what do you have to say about this? <laughs> it is top secret. Nobody knows that Montreal's here, so we have to keep it under wraps. Yes. Go friends. Uh, the first thing I noticed was it's not green. Exactly. I don't know why they call it the green room. It's pretty plain, but but you see, yeah. we're getting like the royal treatment here. Yes. 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 Are, yes we have you know, snacks. Healthy. Montrell got into his race colors and he was ready for his guest appearance on Crowd Goes Wild. But his being there was still a secret. Why? Well, Montrell was part of a segment called Reach for the Stars. Regis Philbin and Georgie Thompson were blindfolded and had to figure out the sports celebrity in front of them. And boy, were they surprised. No. Other way, Georgie, that's Regis. Is that Regis? This is Regis. And this is a piece of steel. What's that? What's that? What is this? Oh, oh, hurt myself. It's, it's not Regis, though. Oh, where is this person? Is that Regis? Here, here it is, over here. Oh, hey, now. This is Regis. Oh, hey, now. Oh, 
this is scary. Regis, why do they have a whip Seven in there? Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Oh. Who is it? Costa, naked again. No. <laughs> Regis. Uh, Harry Truman. I don't know. Take off your blindfolds. It's Montreal Teague, the driver of Regis the Horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay! It was a hysterical segment and a fun way to promote harness racing. But I don't know who is more starstruck, Montreal or Regis. In here, keep your eye on. That's right, number one, Regis the Horse, who takes on seven competitors in this event over the Harrington Raceway Half Mile Oval. These are non-winners of three pair mutual races for five-year-olds and under. Here they come, off stride, Regis the Horse, briefly. Off stride again, Regis the Horse. There goes Sam Crow up on the outside to get the lead. Art of Escape gets away in second, followed by false advertising. What happened to Regis the Horse? Just because it's on TV, he's got to make a break. They go to the back stretch. Art of Escape, Sam Crow settles in second, three in front of false advertising, another two back. Notorious Card Shark, two more proudly yours is fifth. Then comes TR Kilowatt Sam, Regis the Horse, and at the NMG Kid, Regis the Horse has a lot of work ahead of him if he's going to win this. 28 seconds, the opening quarter into the far turn. Leading by a length and a half, that's Art of Escape. Sam Crow sits in second, followed by false advertising in third. Then comes Notorious Card Shark. Here comes Regis the Horse up on the outside. And moving out in front of Regis the Horse, how dare he, Notorious Card Shark, as they come over toward the half. It's Art of Escape, leading by a length and a half. Sitting in second is Sam Crow. Here's Notorious Card Shark, followed by Regis the Horse, who's up into fourth. Since Regis the Horse's last start, the two favorite teams of Regis Philbin have not done too well. Michigan pounded Notre Dame, and the Red Sox took six out of seven from the Yankees. So from a sports mental health point of view, Regis needs this horse to give him a win. They race up the back stretch, and he'll have to go three wide to do it. Art of Escape by a length and a half or two. Outside Notorious Card Shark, down at the rail is Sam Crow. Here's Regis the horse on a three wide bid as they go to three quarters. 128 and two fifths into the far turn. Art of Escape. Look at Regis the horse. Made two breaks at the start. Gave him seven or eight lengths head start. Midway on the final turn. Art of Escape. Regis the horse. This will be his best victory of all if he can do it. They turn for home. Regis the horse out in the center of the track gets the lead. They drive to the wire. Regis the horse. A short lead over Art of Escape. Here comes the finish. Regis the horse. A remarkable victory for Regis and his show. Crowd goes wild on Fox Sports 1. Regis the horse made a bobble at the start of the race, but made an incredible rebound to win in 157 and 2 with Montreal Teague in the bike for his dad and trainer, George Teague Jr. On post time, we'll continue to update you on Regis the horse. Who knows? Soon he may have his own star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood.